Hello and welcome guys. I know it's been a long time that I had made any videos for you guys but I've come back and I have come back with a big topic and very important topic into the financial world as you all aware I mean as you are all aware that the payment systems or the financial institution uh, sector is getting transformed and the will be using ISO 2022 message formats going forward and by 2022 uh, it will be already accepted and by 2025 as I told you MT standards will not be used any longer so by 2025 it will be over and then all over the world ISO 2022 will be used worldwide we'll understand about what is ISO 2022 what is it how will it impact into the financial sectors what is its areas uh, uh, what are different uh, message types which will be used into 2002 I mean ISO format 2022 how does it vary from uh, 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 Swift MT to uh, 15,022 and a lot more on ISO 2022. It's going to be a very long series of uh, videos. I'll be posting a lot of videos on ISO 2022. But yes, this is the beginning of ISO 2022. So we should understand what is exactly ISO 2022. So let's get started. Right, so as a topic itself is ISO 2022, we should understand what is ISO 2022. So the first thing we should uh, understand is what is ISO 2022, right? So ISO 2022 is nothing but a multi-part international standard so it is a multi-part international stack standard and is prepared by ISO technical committee TC 68 financial services So like any ISO formats, like there are different ISO formats, for example, uh, for weighing goods, we have kilogram, grams, you know, tons, same way, uh, it is a kind of uh, you know, standard which will be used going forward into the financial institution and that will be mostly used in terms of the messages, right? So. As I said, like uh, now, as per the ISO standard, we have uh, for weight, we can use gram, we can use kilogram, for uh, length, we have centimeter, meter, kilometer, and so on. So, same way, ISO 2022 is a type of standard which will be used into the financial institution for the use of communication uh, into the financial institution world using different formats which will make sense uh, for the different financial institutions to understand the language between each other uh, throughout the world right so this is all about ISO 2022 now let's understand some key highlights of um, before understanding key highlights, I would just like to explain you some brief about the ISO 2022. Uh, with, in, in a layman's song, if, no, if, if a person wants to understand what is ISO 2022 and why is it introduced, so I'll, I'll, I'll take an example. Uh, let's suppose, uh, since we are a human being and uh, different parts of the world, right, uh, people use different type of way of communicating. For example, a person living in USA and a person living in UK 
he if he says football then in a person who is living in UK understand a soccer ball as football right whereas in USA they will understand as a rugby ball right so it, 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 it totally depends upon the way of standards they are using in a particular uh, country and all but what if we have a common uh, platform where all the countries person uh, understand uh, or use the same dictionary for understanding the words for UK we have a different dictionary and maybe USA they use different dictionary for many of the words they get confused so communicate miscommunication can happen between the people around the world so so you know uh, that's why we need a common dictionary or common standards for people to understand just to mitigate the misunderstanding and miscommunication right let's suppose if there is a miscommunication into the financial institutions right between the two financial institutions if there is a misunderstanding and uh, and because of that the bank B has to go through a lot of losses you know if I, it had to send say one uh, million dollar to customer X but instead of X because of some miscommunication they send it to Mr. Y then one million dollar is lost and, and, and a lot of you no know, rework has to be done and, and B will screwed up right so in order to ensure that the misunderstanding into the financial institution doesn't happen we introduce or ISO introduce ISO 2022 and the major objective of it is to ensure that all the financial institutions or the financial world or financial players into this world uses the same common language or the dictionary right so now let's understand the key highlights of key highlights ISO 2022 right okay the first one is information can be processed and exchanged worldwide clearly and consistently right so the information so it can be exchanged worldwide Uh, that too with clearly and consistently this is the first one very important factor it makes easier easier to understand and communicate financial information Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Between people and systems. No, it makes easier to understand and communicate financial information between people and systems. You know, now they can easily communicate with the system as well as the system will be built in such a way uh, that uh, it understands and it can be processed easily. Right. Not only this, there are some more key features which I'll explain you why, what will be the key benefits of using 2022. Very important thing is it is open and free standard. Now what it means is anyone and anywhere this dictionary messages can be modified as per the name right since the messages which they use will be either into uh, XML and ASN the drone format that can be modified and can they can add some more uh, tax under it which they can use it right to uh, pro 
process those communications right so the xml messages does look like this where you uh, give some info and this is the input and then you close the tag and when it reads it takes this value and then process it those informations and this related to xml things we'll understand later on but let's understand some more key features of it Uh, it streamlines communication for payments, securities forms, foreign exchange. trading and credit card sectors so almost all those areas into the financial institution or financial world it covers and it, it can be used to communicate throughout the world right so at the end if I have to uh, summarize ISO 2022 what exactly it is uh, the objective of the ISO 2022 is to provide, to bring common understanding that will lead to effective communication and making business a whole lot easier so the major objective of ISO 2022 is to bring common understanding that will lead to effective communication and make business a whole lot easier isn't it when you have a common language for example if you are using uh, a b c d alphabets and you phrase the words using these alphabets and this is a common standard used uh, across the world and when you use it and you can frame the sentences and that is how uh, you'll be using so same way uh, iso 2022 brings you a common platform a common dictionary a common standard throughout the uh, financial world to use it and making it more easier to communicate between the financial systems across the world so this is all about the iso 2022 and uh, going forward and coming up we'll understand about the different message formats of uh, iso 2022 how does uh, uh, it overcomes the drawbacks of uh, ISO and ISO 15022 that is uh, empty standards messages and what are the respective uh, packs messages of uh, empties and what are the camped messages cash management messages payment and clearing uh, uh, settlement and, and uh, payment initiation messages and a lot of uh, exchange messages and so on a lot of things are there to be discussed and uh, we cannot uh, cover up in a single video so a lot of videos will be coming up so stay tuned and uh, please do subscribe our channel because you'll get benefited a lot because the payment industry is getting transformed and there is a huge opportunity where you can grow your career into the payment world thank you all see you soon